So we expect it to be at about $20 million at this point, and I've spent so far nothing. And, you know, which I think is a great tribute. It's your show, and it's a business show predominantly, although you've become more and more political, I noticed over the years, in all fairness, Neil. But, you know, it's sort of a, a great tribute to business because I've spent the least money and I have the best poll numbers. Donald Trump speaking earlier with Neil Cavuto. Well, we are going to bring you back out to Las Vegas. You saw my colleague Blake Berman standing by. Blake. Hi there, Deirdre. We have a uh, very special guest here joined by Phil Ruffin, uh, a man of many titles here in Vegas. You own the uh, Treasure Island Hotel. You are a partner with Donald Trump in the uh, Trump Hotel just right over there. And uh, Donald Trump was the best man at your wedding, so he's one of your closest friends. You, you just heard him say he spent nothing on this campaign. What, what do you make of Donald Trump so far? Well, you know, Donald contributed $20 million to the children's home, St. Jude's. And, you know, you wonder why Donald, $20 million buys you a lot of TV ads. He said, well, the children win with cancer. That, no, it's no contest. So that's Donald Trump I know. It's a man of character, you say. Are, are you surprised? We obviously know his, his business background. Are you surprised, though, at how well he's doing so far in this race? Yeah, I think it's a movement. It's a movement. Donald now leads that movement, you know, as opposed to earlier we had uh, uh, Bach, Michelle Bachman and uh, the other guy leading the polls at this time, Herman Cain. But this is different. This is a movement that... that uh, He's, he's walked into and it's just he's done an amazing job. You, I, I know the focus is on the Democrats, but you have a, a tonight at least, but you have a unique insight into uh, Mr. Trump. Do you think he can actually win? Yes, I do. I think he can win. I think his poll numbers are showing that he can win. He needs to win the primary, of course. And uh, but I, 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 he's a very intelligent man, a very honest man. And he and I have been great friends for many years. I want to ask you about uh, Las Vegas and what you are seeing here, uh, the economy, the hotel industry. When I got off, off the plane, the cab line was packed. When I got into your hotel, Treasure Island, the check-in was, was packed. What exactly are you seeing right now? Well, it's, it's up slightly. Uh, it's not as good as it should be. We're up about 2 or 3%, which is kind of low for us. Uh, the economy is not that great right now. And so, but we're okay. We're better than last year a little bit, but not much. There's been a lot said about millennials uh, coming in here to Vegas and not spending traditionally at the craps table, the blackjack table, rather, at, at nightclubs and at the pool and so forth. Is, is that a challenge going forward to trying to, to get them back into the casinos? It's strange. We, we just got into the cell phone business. They make bets with their cell phone, and that's what millennials like. They don't want to come into the casino, but they'll make a bet on their cell phone in a taxi cab. It's crazy. You know? In your casino and just about every casino here, there is a sports book. And we've seen the rise of these daily fantasy leagues. They've been in the news, FanDuel and DraftKings. Uh, d d does this pose a, pose a threat to traditional betting here in Vegas? Yes, I think it does. I think that's gambling. It's pure gambling. I don't even know how it's legal. But they're getting by with it so far. You know, it's not taxed. And it's just amazing. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't realize that you could do that. Are you guys as a whole here, the, the industry, prepared to fight that? I haven't heard of anything like that yet, but I know some are opposed to it, but no, nothing organized. And lastly, since the debate is tonight, what do you expect to see out of the Democrats here? I expect Hillary to win. <laughs> so, you know, she's the front runner, and uh, you know she's very experienced. We'll see. I, I, Bernie, very charismatic, but uh, I don't like that far right or that far left. So uh, you know, ninety percent tax, all that. I don't like that. Mr. Ruffin, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Phil Ruffin, he owns uh, Treasure Island, partners with Donald Trump at the Trump Hotel, uh, and uh, one of uh, Donald Trump's best friends. Deirdre, I'll send it back to you. Blake Berman, thanks so much.